This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but with a whisper. <laughs> Newport Harbor, without a doubt, the nicest place we've been. Even better than Washington, D.C. or Norfolk. Cruise ships everywhere. Hotels, restaurants. It's a true destination. There's a lot we didn't do here. The cliff walk was one of them. And it, you go along this cliff edge here, trying to hold the camera steady. And uh, it, is, it is quite pretty with all these mansions. Many of the really big mansions are, you can do a tour through them. We didn't do any. Just never had time. I mean, we had a good time here, but so that's that's the cliff walk. Looking at it from the water. Okay, um, I still think it's the 16th of September, and we are beginning to head south. Um, now, a lot of people don't head south until October, but so uh, maybe the. 1st of October, uh, you know, the, the nights have been getting cold to me. I'm from Arizona and I got a low tolerance for cold. So, uh, being as how we're living on the hook, it doesn't make sense to run the generator and the heater all night. It's not that cold. If it was 30 degrees out, then yeah, we would have to do that but it's just getting down into the 50s and to me that's cold and it's time to head out um, what we're doing is we're gonna try to get back down to Cape May so we're gonna go uh, right past New York uh, right past Atlantic City all of the stops that we've made along the way Block Island we're gonna try to cruise we've got a wind from the north um, and the thing is, is that we're in a race. We're racing the hurricane Humberto. Uh, Humberto's coming up, projected to come up the East Coast and, uh, uh, and then head out away from land. But uh, we might uh, feel the effects. Uh, it's Monday morning and uh, we might be seeing some pretty big swell and some pretty big wind right about the time we get to Cape May. So this is gonna knock about a quarter of our trip going south back to Florida and the Bahamas. It's gonna knock about 25% off and uh, in, in a 48 hour sail. So this is the north side of Block Island and let me zoom in a little here okay. now from the water we never got to see this I'd like to take a closer pass. But we really don't have time because we are racing a storm. And uh, yeah.
This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but with a whisper. <laughs> yes, sir. Gonna Gonna be watching the stand tonight. As we sail, we're gonna go sailing. Actually, we're not going sailing, we are sailing. Containment breach! Holy shit! <laughs> Idiot champion. He's gonna kill everybody. That gauge is not working. Well, that's so much better. Okay. Big, beautiful, full moon. Yeah, we're only offshore, maybe 20 miles, no big deal. Got a two-day sail, going to Cape May. Newport was wonderful, but it was getting pretty cold at night. So before it gets really cold at night, we decided we should sail south. So, oh yeah, baby. That's what we're doing. Let's see what Campion's up to in here. Oh hell, we're already all dead. <laughs> you know, there's nothing quite like sailing out on a black night watching the stand. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, sunrise on the ocean. I guess you clean these back windows a little bit. Day two, going to Cape May. So, um, we cut across the New York Inlet, stayed way outside of it because that shortens the uh, trip. Good morning. Good morning. And, uh, also, there's nobody in, uh, there's only one boat uh, called Big Bob that's in our pattern, so that's easy enough. You know what, I want to fix that uh, knot today. Okay. This gauge here. Okay, I'll, I'll get that cleared out for you in a little bit, okay? Yeah. I'm going to see if um, I get through to Chris. It's about time to choose it. Five, uh, 5.7, 5.2, 4.9. Anyway, um, 
but we've only got like eight knots of wind, ten, seven, eight. It's been about ten knots most of the night, ten to twelve. It's down a little bit, but you know, it's really something. This boat goes along at five knots of boat speed with eight, eight or nine knots of wind. Uh, it's pretty efficient. So, 160 feet deep. As you can see, behind me, our sails are just, they're just flapping. And uh, we fired up the motors again. I, I can't even tell you how many hours we've run the motors on this trip. It's, I, I don't even know. I should try to keep track of things like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, it's just, uh, we really need a good, strong 10 to 12 knots of wind when you're in seas, uh, following seas, or, or any kind of seas, because if you don't have enough wind, you can't hold your course, so the boat wants to, the boat gets knocked in all different kinds of directions because of the seas. Now, uh, this morning we woke up and, you know, there it was five foot seas out here and we we were uh, we, we had good wind all you know all night a good 12 to 15 up to 17 even 18 knots of wind that's ideal I mean that really you can set your sails set your course shut off the motors and just go where you go where you need to go and uh, this this is a little frustrating because most of most of today has been at least one motor running. Now we've got both motors running because yeah, we've only got like eight, you know, four knots of wind, which isn't enough to do anything. So the sails are just there. I don't feel like taking them down. I know it's you shouldn't let them flop around too much, but. Uh, there's, there's no real load on them. They're not snapping because of load because we're just we're just going and they're just kind of lazily going in the breeze. But coming up on a, another beautiful sunset. Um, we are about I think I can't remember how many miles Gail said. We might be 60 miles away uh, from Cape May. Anyway, uh, all the calculations, everything, uh, we're still on time, should be there at 6 a.m. So we want to get off the water before Humberto rolls through this area and starts kicking up a fuss. And uh, we're going to uh, make that, so that's what's going on. So your expert sunset opinion, are you going to give this a grade? A two out of ten. A two out of ten. Okay, I, I cannot disagree more. Okay. Oh, a collision alarm. What is it? It's at least a four. Well, no, I don't think so. This is our first 
Actually, it's not the first catch. This is our second fish that we caught, but the first one we threw back. Anyway, so this is uh, tuna. Tuna, yes. Right? We think it is, what did we Blue, call it? Blue Atlantic bluefin? Yeah, I think that's what we call okay. it. We are not sushi eaters, we are not raw fish eaters, and I swore when I went sailing I would never take pictures or video of food, but <laughs> there it is because, um, yeah, if you, if, you, uh, if you divide all the money that I spent on fishing equipment, that's probably pretty expensive right there. What do you think, Gail? Is that pretty Almost expensive? Almost like getting a lobster dinner for 58 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, I've already try, tried it with Gail's marinations. It is delicious. All right.